Hey guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale bringing you into Savers with me. Today we're going to go into Savers and Goodwill. And first, gotta check the jewelry. Um, so this jar was here last week also. And this is the one I was talking about that like wasn't even full, as you can see. And it was 20 bucks. Um, so part-time reseller here. Welcome back to all my subscribers. Welcome if you're new. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button. Check out my links in the description box. And here we go. So I check out the loose jewelry over here. Um, I don't show that much because my mom ended up calling and shut the video off. <laughs> so um, I just left it off and continued with my search. I did find uh, some good pieces, so stay tuned for the haul video. Okay, so now we're into the hard goods, and I was really only looking for stuff for my antique booth, um, just stuff so I can just throw a price tag on it, put it, write it in my spreadsheet, and bring it to my antique booth, and let the buyers do the work. <laughs> um, so you might see me pass up on a lot of things, and that is why. These guys looked kind of like Capo de Monte, Italian, but there was no markings, so I wasn't really sure. That guy, I'm pretty sure, was here the past couple of weeks. I've seen him, and he's so cute, but it says... Um, Cindy on it, so yeah. That guy I liked, but he was plastic. I really liked this wolf, but he had a big chip on his neck. This thing was pretty cool. It, it kind of looked like it was made out of tin foil. It was, it was like kind of weird, but kind of cool at the same time. That little elephant had a chip, so he had to stay. Um, today they did a 50% off sale um, for club members only, and they staggered it between, I think, like four days, so um, as to not have the store complete, like, <laughs> free-for-all, uh, but there were still a lot of people in the store. I didn't get as much footage as I wanted to because there was just so many people everywhere. I just couldn't get anywhere. I couldn't get through the aisles or around people. Um, this thing was awesome. It was some kind of stone grape. Um, usually the vintage grapes like that are made from lucite, but this one had stone, so I thought that was pretty cool. I picked that up. So my husband had found that trinket box, but it was a little banged up, so we left it. I almost missed that end cap. <laughs> I thought those doggies were so cute, but at $2.99, I don't know, they were very, very thin, you know, like cheap ceramic, so I decided to leave them. And I liked those little stone frogs, but look, $4.99, they were $4.99 a piece, and it, mm, that just wasn't for me. I was actually gonna get this, but there was no price on it and I didn't know where to hang it, but I feed um, the birds like out my out my window on the windowsill and the squirrels come and everything and it's so cool to watch. So I just thought of that for me, but I wasn't sure where to hang it, so I left it. I really liked these, they were made from pewter and they had horses on them, they were candlesticks. And I was really debating and going back and forth because they were $3.99 a piece. 
Um, that was just something my husband found that he said was handmade because it had like a, it wasn't like perfectly round. So we got that. Um, so yeah, $3.99 a piece. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do that, but I really liked them and I decided to go for it. I loved this rotary phone. I do well with selling rotary phones. I didn't really like the Mona Lisa in the middle that I just pointed out, but um, it was $30 and I thought I could get it for half off, but um, it turned out that the half off was not including the hard goods, like the home decor. So I did not end up getting it. I thought that was cool and it had the little flower frog inside to hold your, you know, plant or flowers upright. I had to turn the camera off because there was just a lot of people that came down that aisle. I loved this mirror and then I went to pick it up and it was so heavy. <laughs> I literally almost dropped it. So it was only $3.99 and it was very well made. Like the quality was there. It was very old. It had like um, the glass, like the mirror was starting to have like, um, I don't know what it's called, but they had like black dots on it, like marks. And um, it was just a lot of signs of age. So I thought that was pretty cool. And we were gonna put that in my antique booth. I'm just trying to show you guys how many people are down this aisle. <laughs> they look like everywhere. I've, I've never seen it this crowded. Right here, I'm trying to wait for this woman to finish up because she had her cart right in front of me, but she just was clueless and also going down the aisle the wrong way. <laughs> Okay, so I really, really loved this Asian jewelry box, but as you can see, that back hinge was broken. Um, it just, it was missing the pins, like the, the uh, nails, I guess, but they were so tiny that I didn't know like if I can find something to replace it or I don't know, it was $10 and I just didn't want to take the chance of buying it and then not being able to fix it. So I passed. If it was like six or eight, I would have taken the chance, but yeah. I'm like, eh, I want it. <laughs> That looked nice. It was a J.A. Henkel's um, knife case, but it had a bunch of little chips and marks on it, so we left that. And then my husband pointed out this little, I don't know if it was like a jewelry case or for tools or like little nuts and bolts or whatever, but he said that it might have been Bakelite, so I was looking at it. Obviously, I'm not getting the best view for you right now. <laughs> because I was trying to read the brand and it was really hard to read. So, but yes, it did, we looked up the brand and it did end up being Bakelite, so I did buy that for $3.99. I really liked that tray made in Israel, but I think those rings on it was like a, I don't know, like staining, so I left it. I loved that, too bad it said Tom on it. <laughs> The horse the handle was super cool.
the boring clear glass aisle. <laughs> I think I was just trying to wait for a couple people that were at the end of the aisle. So I'm kind of just like, oh, let's show you some more of the aisle. <laughs> and there they go, so here we go. I always like to look at the art to look for stuff for my booth. I really liked that, but it wasn't in a frame or anything and I'm not about to buy one. And then I loved this. This was so cool, um, but it turned out the whole thing was plastic. So, and plus, I wouldn't have mind, like I would have got it anyway, but I'll show you in a second. The top left corner was chipped off and broken. Or, yeah, I, okay, I barely got it in the frame. I barely got it in the frame, but yeah, it was chipped off and broken, so I left it. I did a really bad job filming this today. I'm so sorry, guys. I wasn't really feeling the greatest, so I apologize. That vase was super pretty, but the handle was broken off and glued back on. That was actually a pretty Lennox, and it was painted with 24 karat gold, but... I have a couple Lennox pieces in my booth now and they're just sitting there. <clears throat> so I've had one of those. I bought one of those a long time ago and sold it um, it took me forever to sell and it sold for barely nothing. I barely made a profit on it. Do not buy that if you see it. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. Um, it was signed by the ice skaters that did the superstars on ice. Um, my husband looked it up, but it was only worth about seven or eight bucks. So we left it there. Now that I believe I forget the name of it, but it was some some kind of Pyrex vintage, but it had a big chip on the edge, so I left it there as well. I love me my stoneware. Those are really cute, some vintage canisters, but they weren't marked. Um, so while I'm doing this voiceover, I just quickly looked up on my laptop. Oh, this jar or vase or whatever it was, I thought was so cool. And then I turned it around and it was a tequila bottle. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, I was so fooled. Um, that's Pampered Chef. Pampered Chef does really well resale, but um, I think that was what, $5.99? So that's not good. But um, yeah, so back to, I was looking up on my laptop really quick, that pink rim Pyrex. Um, it is called the Pyrex Flamingo Pink. So that brand, that style or pattern or whatever does really, really well. Um, as I'm, you know, doing this voiceover, I'm looking just a nine, one nine inch bowl is going for 20 bucks. Um, we have like a 54 piece set that's going for 300, some three dinner plates for 40 bucks. So definitely keep a lookout for that pink rim. It's um, like a milk glass Pyrex, does really well. Flamingo pink, I thought those were cool. They were like the Asian buildings. I don't know what they're called, but they had some chipping on it, salt and pepper shaker. That was, everything in there was completely broken. That I thought was pretty cool. I probably should have got it. It was a salt and pepper and sugar, I think. 
but it was a dinosaur. Like it had like three parts lined up to be his whole body. I oh, probably should have got that. <laughs> So my mom has been looking for small brass pieces to fill this shadow box she has. Um, so that's why I grabbed those. Those were Norcrest, I believe. Yeah, um, salt and pepper shakers, bears. I think there was two or three sets in there. So I grabbed those. I saw those little pewter animals and I just fell in love. They were elephants and it was a little pricey at $5 for the bag, but there were four in there, so um, I could definitely ask at least two or $3 a piece. Okay, so a little bit of a change of pace. Um, I'm going down this side of the store. I always check the blankets and the quilts for any quality quilts, um, handmade, Afghan, stuff like that. That one had a big hole in it. Um, I usually do, I do okay selling the Afghans in my booth. I haven't tried selling them online yet. I just haven't really decided how I would want to photograph them. <laughs> like, do you lay the whole thing out or do you just take pictures of parts of it? Like, I don't know. So now we're wrapping around the other side of the store. I went through the men's shoes uh, with my husband and the sporting goods only because I've never been, I haven't been in that section in a really long time. I usually just let him go. And we did find a couple things, so definitely stay tuned for the haul video. Now this section, I like to look for Vionics. That brand does really well for me. Uh, they usually make sneakers or they do make heels and stuff like that, but they're known for their comfort. And um, I mean, they are pricey retail and the resale does pretty well. Off to shoes. I know I shouldn't be looking at shoes because I have enough of them to list, but I mean, it's 50% off a day. I really can't help myself. And all the jewelry that I picked out, it turns out that jewelry was not part of the 50% off sale, so I was pretty upset about that, but at least it's not they aren't really priced too high so I guess it's fine <laughs> that's a really good brand via Spiga Spiga um, I just wasn't really feeling those heels it would probably be a hard sale the platform and the heel is like really high <laughs> Okay, now we're off to Goodwill. I finished up in the shoe section um, and I really didn't find much. Um, and we 
went next door to Goodwill. So let's see what we can find here. There was a lot of people right in the beginning there, so I didn't want to, you know, film them or anything. So I try to keep the camera low. And plus I try not to be blatantly obvious that I'm filming. <laughs> Still get a little nervous and embarrassed. Totally skipped that clear glass aisle. <laughs> Did you notice? I was like, my brain was all over the place in this store because there were so many people and this Goodwill, the aisles are so narrow that if you have a cart and the other person in the aisle has the cart, it's like really hard to get by. And even though there are arrows that you're supposed to go one way, nobody listens to the arrows. And you'll see in a second, not even me. <laughs> And I had, to, I had to point out, I think I showed it in a second. This lady's bowl or whatever she picked out, planter, it's huge. Oh, that was so cute. A little espresso cup. Yeah, look at that thing. <laughs> and then look at us going the wrong way, oops. I'm usually really good about going the correct way and I usually get mad when people don't go the right way but there were so many people in the aisle already going the wrong way so I'm just like whatever I'm just gonna follow them <laughs> these were so cute I was gonna get them because they're redware and they're made in Japan so um, what stopped me was that they were four bucks. So I really only sell my salt and pepper shakers in my booth for like 10. So that was like, I don't know. I wasn't really feeling it. That's Spode. That's another brand to look out for that does pretty well. Um, but that's like a sandwich tray and it's Christmas. So it's kind of a harder sale so I skipped on it but that brand in general usually does pretty good these are hand painted Nippon and as you can tell Goodwill also knows what it is at three bucks for a teeny little plate I just love the hand painting on the Nippon pieces it's that like matte like grainy paint it's just so pretty that's a, that was a really cute Ray Dunn, I guess, cat water dish, but it had a big chip on it, so I left it. And this poor lady, <laughs> her daughter left her there to go bring that big bowl or planter or whatever. She left her there to go bring that to the front. And <laughs> she's like, oh, just leave me here. I'll be fine. I'll look at the dishes. I was laughing. Thank God I have a mask on. Because <laughs> I didn't want to like laugh at her, but it was funny. This, I fell in love with it, but I wasn't sure what it was, and I wasn't sure if it had a maker or something, so I gave it to my husband to check over, and it turned out to be a vintage um, TV lamp, so you would put that on the top of your big, huge TV in like the 50s and 60s, and you would connect a, a light bulb and a light, you know, light fixture to the back of it. See right there? Um, but the light fixture part was broken. It was broken and then glued back on. So yeah, we left that. That I thought was really cute. You put a little tea light in the back of it. Oh, and the color of the day or color of the week for this Goodwill was blue, but as you can see, almost everything was yellow. <laughs> so I think everything we got, I think it was a yellow tag, so 
That was a little crazy. Here we are, going down the wrong way again. That I thought was so pretty. And it, and it was half off, but I just didn't know what I would do with it. <laughs> so I just left it. It did have some gold paint missing. And usually if I'm not like really feeling a piece, I'm not gonna get it. There's another stoneware piece I was attracted to but I left it. That thing was pretty cool. Not really sure what it was. <laughs> I think my husband was talking to me about something and I was <laughs> And I was trying to pass that lady without looking like a brat for going the wrong way. <laughs> I bet that motorcycle just got in the video in my voiceover. <laughs> that little kitty cat was so cute, but um, I can't see the price. I think it said three or four ninety nine. Uh, pass on that. Look at how cool this thing is. And it was only four dollars. So my husband looked it over. It ended up being a Jim Beam decanter, and he collects. Well, he doesn't collect them, but he likes to sell them. So he buys them to sell. And it was missing the cork topper stopper thing, but we got it anyway because it was in really good shape. And um, we're gonna market it as like a planter as well. We're gonna put like flowers in it. Guys, this thing was so cool. It was it was $15 and that's that's a lot for me to spend. Um, I really liked it and I was really gonna get it. However, all this scratching right here, I tried to just see if it was dirt, but it was, but it was also scratched. So I'm like, mm -mm, I can't do it. I was pointing to my husband. I was like, I really like this. So I had to leave it. But this, however, I bought. I bought it for my mom. Um, I actually just I gave it to her on the way home. I got her that those two pieces for her little um, shadow box. Oh, now she's gonna watch this and know that I bought it for her. I went to, I went to her house and put it in her shadow box without her knowing. <laughs> and I was gonna see how long it took her to to see it. But if she watches this, then she'll know. Oh well, <laughs> it's really fun. I crack myself up as you can tell. <laughs> so, <laughs> that thing stunk like cat pee. Okay, I didn't know what it was like what smelled and then I touched that and then the smell followed me and I smelled my hand and I was so grossed out. Oh my God, I think like a cat literally peed all over it and then they still just put it out on the shelf. This I thought was absolutely beautiful. So you know that came home with me. Yes, please. It almost reminded me of Cinnabar. Cinnabar, that's what that's called. That really expensive like red wood thing <laughs> i'm so out of it uh, that lady was like that's mine i'm like oh it's not, I, I didn't want it <laughs> 
That's her right there. She's like, that's mine. Okay, you can have it. And then there's the random cart. Can you tell I was into the brass stuff today? So there's another five finger vase, um, but I wasn't paying, I wasn't paying that, that's crazy. So usually it's Portugal or Italy, I think that one was Portugal. But yeah, we're gonna show you some baskets and we're gonna end the video shortly. So make sure you guys stay tuned for the haul because I definitely did find quite a few nice things. I'm very excited for my antique booth. I like this box. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one.